and welcome to another video from our BMC YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you how to enable the subquery in SmartIT to improve overall performance. So let me ch show you just that. By default, Remedy uh, uses an algorithm called Combine Likes, which for each permission group in your permissions and for each field on the form in question, it does an OR. So there is another alternative that we have introduced starting from Dev Studio 1908, which is the subquery feature. And this will help you improve the performance in SmartT in all the areas, whether it's the console and the dashboard and the asset console. So in order to do that, you need to click on the implementation area. And you'll notice that this bottom three right here are the views that SmartT uses. And inside the views, there is a list of forms. So basically, what you have to do, you have to select each and every form from the first view, which is the overview console, and you need to convert it to subquery. We'll start with TMS task, but you have to do it with, for each and every form from the list. So let me show it to you now. As you can see, I've opened TMS task. Now, what I need to do, I need to click on other definitions. I need to click on row level security fields and I need to change my overlay from overwrite. We're gonna click okay to accept. I need to change the algorithm to subquery. You're gonna get a message that says, do you want to enable the security table? You're gonna click okay. This will uh, add a checkbox here that says enable security table. As soon as I click the save button, it will convert all the records that live in TMS task into the S table, which is a better algorithm than combined likes and will improve performance. Let's head back over to the overview console so that you can see which other forms we need to, to convert to subquery. After you're done with the overview console, you have to move over to the SmartIT ticket console view and you have to do the same for all of the eight forms that are listed here in Dev Studio. And then lastly, with the social forms, which are all the work log forms that you can see here. Now, at any point in time, you can track the progress of the subquery. You're gonna open a new form. So we're gonna open this up here real quick, and we're gonna type RLS migration pending. So on this form, whenever you click save in Dev Studio after you turn that form into subquery, you will and you search here, you will be able to see the progress happening in the background. Depending on the number of records, this form will progress and you should have this completed after you uh you you have done with all of the forms. After you're done with all of these th forms listed in these three views, you have to convert the views themselves into subquery. So let's head back one more time to Dev Studio so I can show you this. As you see here, I have all of the three views right here. So I have to go over to the definitions tab again, click on row level security fields, change the overlay, overlay type to overwrite, and change the algorithm to subquery. You're gonna get a different message this time. It says selecting this option requires security table to be present in the database related to this form. We already did that because you can, we assume that you already converted all of your forms to subquery. We're just gonna click OK here. And we're gonna click Save here and this will complete the subquery for all the forms that depend on the overview console. You have to do the same for all the forms that are part of the view for the ticket console and you have to do it as well for the work log view as well. After you're done, there's still one more thing to do. We need to head over back to the union configuration console. You have to click on the build reveal database union structure. You'll click there once you get this message that says build rebuild of database union instruction complete. You click OK and you're done. After this point onwards, SmartD will start using the subquery feature, will dramatically improve the performance in all the social tables, the ticket console, the asset console, the dashboard. You'll immediately see 
all the benefits. So to sum up, these are the forms that you need. The SHR Union Configuration Console, which is where we did everything, Dev Studio 1908, obviously, and the additional three view forms that you have on the screen. Lastly, the RLS Migration Pending Form, which will help you to monitor all of the conversion process. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.